<laughs> Just do it! Hello beautiful people, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best settings and sensitivity which I use to control my 80% of the recoil in my potato gameplay. What? But before I reveal my sensitivity and settings, make sure to throw a comment on the like button and also subscribe. Because 65% of you are not subscribed and this thing gives heart attack right in my kidney. What the f Please do subscribe because it is absolutely free of cost. Anyways, let's get started. First you need to know that every single settings are important to control the recoil, and this is not a lie. Like crosshair style of a scope, control setup, sensitivity and many more. All these things are important to be a pro in this game. And now, here is my settings which you can apply. My aim assist is off, because it can make your aim trash, while shooting two or more players at a time. Lock sight warning is helpful, when you are in cover and scouting your enemy's position, it makes your crosshair locked, and I personally disabled it because it sucks. Stop it. Always disable your peek and scope option, because enabling this feature can make you pay in between an intense fight. Always keep this healing prompt setting enabled, because this setting will help you, if you are doing a heal battle, or if you want your bandages to be applied automatically. Make this third-person perspective view to the maximum, as it is a new feature and gives a wider view a bit similar to an iPad. So if you want iPad view, you can set it to the 90. Now let's come to the graphics settings. As you know, keeping graphics to the smooth helps you a lot in playing smoothly, and also it gives an advantage in spotting enemies in the map easily. Now let's come to the frame rate. Always set your frame rate setting to the maximum, in my iPhone 11, the maximum frame rate is extreme. But not all devices have this extreme setting, some has 90 FPS too. So in my opinion, you should go with the maximum frame setting which your device offers you. Now coming to the anti-aliasing setting. Always keep this setting disabled, because anti-aliasing rushes battery to drain faster. Also it doesn't helps even a bit in your gameplay. This anti-aliasing setting is only for those who plays on higher graphic settings. Now it's time to reveal my sensitivity. Sensitivity settings helps you enhance your overall gaming experience. There are different types of settings available in the game, which might be confusing for many. In order to break it out for you, there are three major sensitivity settings including camera, ADS or aim down sight, and gyroscope. Each set helps you in movement, aiming for the enemy, and more. Although the game offers some preloaded settings that generally come as low, medium, and high, it is always good to go for a customized setting as it helps you get better control over the game dynamics and increases your chance to win a match more. So, here you can see my personal sensitivity which I'm using since the day one as a gyro player. I am a gyro player since 4 months. Also you I'm gonna reveal my control code on Instagram, so if you want control setup just like me then you can join me on my Instagram, the link is in the top of the description. Alright guys, so these were my sensitivity and settings. If you are watching till here then do drop a like, and also subscribe, if you are new. Now watch my potato gameplay, peace. Let's go! Let's go. Mark the location.
Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Excellent work! तो यहाँ पर ही आएगी ना। Mark, 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 mark. Hi, excellent work. We're the best. Yeah.